Hello, this is Kate, and this is your weekly tarot card reading. And today I'm going to be using um, cards from the Osho Zen tarot deck. And uh, I just want to mention that um, I just started a new website. It's called dailytarotgirl.com. And on my site, it's um, it's basically a blog, and each day I'm going to be posting a new tarot reading. So you can, I'll, I'll put the link to the my website um, in the description of this video, and you can click on that link if you want to check out my site. Okay, so the first card is Innocence. And this card um, is actually the sun in a, in a traditional tarot deck. And so innocence is all about um, kind of the brightness in life or the kind of the more childlike positive aspect of life. And with this card, I get the feeling of um, being able to look at things as if you're looking at them for the first time. So through um, almost like through the eyes of a child or through the eyes of... Um, someone who's very innocent and inexperienced with things. So what I'm getting from this is that um, as we move into the beginning of the week, it will be important to kind of take a fresh, innocent approach to things. So being able to take that, um, being able to bring in some of that childlike curiosity to kind of your daily life and also um, to be able to look at things in a very, um, um, I don't want to say a childlike manner, but in a um, very optimistic, um, optimistic kind of innocent way that isn't bogged down with uh, judgment and um, things like that. I think a lot of the time we're, we kind of naturally want to judge things or kind of put a label on something. And this is just letting us know that this week um, the challenge will be to kind of go through the week without trying to um, put a label on something or judge something to be right or wrong or good or bad. So to have that kind of objective approach. Okay, and then moving um, on to the middle of the week, we've got breakthrough. And breakthrough um, to me is a super uh, kind of powerful card. And it's all about being able to finally um, move past some of the things that have been blocking you. So being able to, um, well, like the card says, kind of make a breakthrough. So being able to um, move past things that have been holding you back. And so sometimes that can be felt in a way that's really kind of exciting and exuberant, um, or other times it can be felt um, as being um, as being like a really strong emotion. So it can feel unpleasant, um, but it but it ultimately will feel liberating. So it's like a release, basically. So it can be like an emotional release, but you're basically kind of letting things go and you're letting the energy move through your body in a way that is um, more free and uh, not so, you know, encumbered by blocks. Um, so now that I said that, it, I'm not sure if that made any sense, but um, one thing that you can do um, is think of if it, anything comes to mind, um, for you, like what's blocking you, if what, what's blocking you, what's holding you back comes to mind, you can kind of make a list of those things and write them down. And, um, and then you can um, go down the list and, um, and one at a time kind of work with each of those things and see if you can find a way to um, overcome those things or move past them. And I think with this card, it's really indicating energy techniques. So getting the energy moving in your body. So doing things like um, breathing, uh, visualization, or even um, movement. So certain forms of exercise like yoga, tai chi, um, or even something like running or swimming, some kind of repetitive motion. Anything to kind of get the, um, the energy moving in your body will help kind of break up those physical and emotional blocks that you have. So basically, I, I guess the gist of that card is that you're going to be um, kind of stepping into a new phase of life, actually. One where you feel less heavy and um, less tied down. So you're kind of releasing a lot of old junk that you don't need anymore. And then as we move um, to the end of the week and the weekend, we've got slowing down. Um, 
and this would be um, a Knight of Pentacles in a traditional tarot deck. Um, and for me, this card kind of means wanting things to move faster than they are and maybe feeling a little bit impatient. That's one meaning. And then the other meaning is just a need to slow down and a need to go slowly, take your time, stop and smell the roses and not rush things. And I think um, for some people, like moving through life at breakneck speed and doing tons and tons of activities really works for them. And then some people feel quite overwhelmed by that. And it's hard to assimilate into your life and to, um, to kind of absorb important information when you're um, being overloaded and going too fast. And so I think this card really speaks to a need um, to kind of slow down and let yourself absorb all the new stuff that you're learning um, and don't be in such a rush to know it all and to, to understand everything. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of a reminder that there's nothing wrong with going slow and you're um, still kind of going along on your path, you're getting to where you need to go. Um, and sometimes when you go slowly, it can actually, um, you can be at uh, a much greater advantage if you just charge ahead um, without looking or without thinking. So um, I think just a reminder that it's important as you kind of, you know, move along through life to, to check in with yourself and kind of ask yourself, um, you know, what you're wanting and check in to see if your activities and kind of where you're placing your attention, if it's, you know, in alignment with where you're wanting to go. And um, just kind of checking in with yourself every you know, few weeks and making sure that you're still um, kind of on the right track. So just stepping back and taking a look at um, these three cards, um, definitely I see um, with these two cards, um, there's this really big shift of energy here in the middle of the week. So a big kind of releasing, a letting go. Um, and I think some of you might feel this in a strong way, so you might even almost manifest a kind of mini crisis or or um, event that kind of causes you to get upset as a means to actually release some of that energy. And then for some of you, you might not notice any kind of big event or anything at all, but you just might suddenly kind of midweek notice almost a lifting, um, uh, almost like something's being lifted off your shoulders, so you might feel uh, a sense of relief or lightness and you might feel like there's just more of a pleasant flow uh, of energy in your life, whereas before you might have felt kind of stuck or stagnant. Um, so anyhow, what I was saying is, um, so with all this kind of big shift in energy, sometimes um, you know, you're wanting things to move forward and change quickly, and then with the turtle here, you're seeing things kind of slowing down. So um, the middle of the week, it might even feel like energy is moving quickly and kind of speeding up, but then it kind of comes back down to more of a relaxed kind of um, soothing pace towards um, the weekend. Okay, so that's been your weekly tarot card reading, and I hope you've um, found something in here that's of use to you, and um, thank you so much for watching.